The autopilot, AP, flight director, FD, and autothrust, ATHR, are all integrated within the flight guidance, FG. They operate in various modes so as to guide the aircraft to associated targets such as speed, heading, glide slope, or FMS lateral flight plan. An FG mode and its associated target are managed when the FG guides the aircraft along the flight plan or when the aircraft flies a speed profile computed by the FMGS. In this example, navigation mode is the managed lateral mode, which allows the FG to guide the aircraft along the lateral flight plan. Climb mode is the managed vertical mode, which guides the aircraft along the vertical flight plan. An FG mode and its associated target are selected when the FG guides the aircraft to a target selected by the pilot on the FCU. In this example, heading mode is the selected lateral mode and open descent is the selected vertical mode. The pilot can engage selected modes by pulling the corresponding selection knobs on the FCU. The pilot can engage the managed modes by pushing the appropriate selection knobs on the FCU. When selected by the pilot on the FCU, the speed target is used by the autopilot flight director or autothrust as a constant target and is indicated in blue on the PFD. When managed by the FMS, the speed target is automatically adjusted by the FMS according to the speed profile computed. The speed target is indicated in magenta on the PFD. The autopilot flight director and autothrust are integrated, which means that there is an interaction between autopilot flight director vertical modes and autothrust modes. When the autopilot flight director pitch or vertical mode controls a vertical trajectory, the autothrust controls the speed or Mach. Note, if both autopilot flight director are off, the autothrust controls the speed. Autopilot flight director controls a vertical trajectory. Vertical speed or flight path angle, alt or alt star, descent on geometric segment, glide slope or glide slope star, final approach. Auto thrust is in speed or Mach mode. When the autopilot flight director pitch or vertical mode controls a speed or Mach target, the autothrust controls a fixed thrust level. Autopilot flight director controls a speed target by adjusting the aircraft pitch in open climb or climb, open descent, take off and go around in SRS, speed reference system. Autothrust is in thrust mode. As a general rule, the FG guides the aircraft along the flight plan when managed modes are engaged. Along the primary lateral flight plan in navigation mode, along the primary vertical flight plan in climb descent modes. The aircraft will climb or descend, satisfying all altitude and speed constraints. The constraints defined in the vertical flight plan are related to the lateral flight plan. If the pilot chooses to fly away from the lateral flight plan in heading or track modes, the climb or descent modes are no longer available reversion modes and the constraints are disregarded. The navigation mode is the lateral managed mode which guides the aircraft on the active leg 
defined by the from and the to waypoints. The nav mode engages automatically after takeoff. It may be armed or engaged at any time in flight by pushing the heading knob on the FCU. When nav is engaged, the lateral flight plan is displayed as a green solid line on the MD. When flying away from the lateral flight plan, heading mode, the pilot can resume the normal navigation by pushing the heading selector, arming navigation. Condition, the track line must intercept the active leg. If the pilot arms navigation, Navigation is displayed in blue on the FMA. An intercept point is computed and the flight plan display changes from dotted line to green solid line. In order to follow a vertical profile, the pilot can pull the Alt selector knob to engage open climb open descent selected modes, push the Alt selector knob to engage climb descent managed modes, if the lateral navigation mode is already engaged, select a target vertical speed or flight path angle by pulling the vertical speed knob. The open climb mode is a selected mode. It uses the autopilot flight director pitch mode to maintain a speed MAC, managed or selected, while the autothrust maintains climb thrust. Open climb is automatically engaged when the lateral flight plan is lost. The climb mode of autopilot flight director is a managed mode. It adjusts the pitch of the aircraft so as to climb towards a target altitude. This at a target speed with a fixed thrust level controlled by the autothrust in thrust mode. Climb is automatically engaged at acceleration altitude. In climb mode, altitude constraints related to waypoints will be taken into account. Constraints can be respected or missed. Climb is always associated to alt mode. Alt is displayed in blue if no altitude constraint is associated. Alt is displayed in magenta if an altitude constraint is associated to a waypoint. A magenta level off arrow indicates where the aircraft will reach the constraint altitude. A blue start of climb arrow indicates where the aircraft will resume the climb once the waypoint is sequenced. The descent mode of the autopilot flight director guides the aircraft along the FMS computed descent path so as to descend to the FCU selected altitude. The descent path includes several segments. From top of descent to first constraint waypoint, idle segment, Several geometric segments computed up to reaching 1,000 feet with V approach. The descent mode guides the aircraft along the pre-computed trajectory with speed target managed. A target speed range indicates to the pilot the acceptable speed variations required to track the descent path. A vertical deviation symbol is also displayed on the altitude scale with digital value provided on the PROG page. If the aircraft is above the flight path, the descent mode will command a pitch down to recover the FMS descent path. This symbol indicates where the descent path will be recovered, assuming that half speed brakes will be extended. If the aircraft is below the flight path, the descent mode will maintain the current speed or lower limit of the speed range until the descent path is recovered. Thrust might be added to recover the descent path. Descent mode respects the altitude speed constraints when feasible. Altitude is armed in magenta and target altitude is magenta if the FCU altitude is set lower than the constraint. 
if the altitude is set higher, then altitude and target altitude are displayed in blue. If heading or track mode is engaged, navigation manage mode is lost, and the descent mode reverts to vertical speed or flight path angle mode. The aircraft continues its descent with the same vertical speed or flight path angle towards the FCU selected altitude, disregarding any altitude constraints. When the aircraft reaches cruise flight level, as set on PROG page, the autopilot flight director goes into altitude cruise mode. The target MAC number is the ECON cruise MAC number. If the aircraft is cleared by ATC at a level different from the one inserted on the PROG page, altitude will be displayed on PFD. It is recommended to update the cruise flight level on the PROG page to the new value for flight efficiency. The runway mode provides lateral guidance orders during takeoff, roll and initial climb out up to 30 feet if a lock signal is available. Provided V2 is inserted in the PERF page and slats are extended, the speed reference system SRS will engage automatically at power application, flex or toga. Speed reference system is a vertical mode which controls the pitch and maintains the speed at V2 plus 10 knots as a minimum or V2 in case of engine failure up to acceleration altitude. Navigation engages automatically around 30 feet provided a flight plan has been inserted with runway and SID. At thrust reduction altitude lever climb flashes. The pilot must set the thrust levers in the climb detent. At acceleration altitude the FG provides a pitch down in order to ease the acceleration towards the initial climb speed of 250 knots. Speed reference system is replaced by climb mode. Precision approaches can be flown using selected modes, managed modes, where autopilot flight director provides guidance laterally and vertically. The FMGC provides automatic guidance on the localizer and glide slope, provided ILS approach has been selected in the flight plan using the arrival lateral revision, or the ILS frequency and course have been inserted through the radio navigation page. The localizer can be intercepted in heading or in navigation mode. If the interception is completed in navigation mode, accuracy must be checked high, unless GPS is primary. Lock and glide slope can be armed using the approach mode push button, provided the ILS and radio altimeter are not faulty, the aircraft is above 400 feet, ILS frequency and course are set identically on both receivers. When the localizer is captured, lock star mode engages. Once the aircraft is established on the localizer axis, lock mode engages. The localizer is intercepted before the glide slope. When the glide slope is captured, glide slope star mode engages and switches to glide slope mode when the aircraft is established. As a general rule, glide slope star and glide slope will engage only if lock star or lock is engaged. Note, glide slope star and glide slope may engage before lock star for certain aircraft, if required by the airline. In case of ILS ground transmitter failure, autopilot flight director remains in lock glide slope modes. The localizer and glide slope deviations are lost and the flight director bars flash. 
In case of dual receiver failure, lock and glide slope reverts to heading vertical speed. The APs trip off and the ILS scales are removed. In this case, interrupt the approach unless you have the runway in sight. Land mode engages automatically when the aircraft is below 400 feet and lock and glide slope are engaged. The input on the FCU are then no longer taken into account by the FG. Land mode can only be disengaged by a go-around. At 40 feet RA, the flare mode engages. At 30 feet, if the autopilot is engaged, autopilot flight director guides the aircraft on the runway center line and provides the required pitch attitude for the flare. If auto thrust is active, thrust reduction is activated and a retard callout is activated at 10 feet. An auto land red warning will be triggered below 200 feet radio altimeter if both APs trip off or excessive deviations in lock above 15 feet or glide slope above 100 feet occur or the lock signal is lost above 15 feet or glide slope above 100 feet or a difference between both radio altimeter indications occurs. Non-precision approaches can be flown using Selected modes, managed modes where autopilot flight director provides guidance laterally and vertically. The use of track flight path angle is highly recommended. The managed mode can be used if the approach is defined in the database. The type of approach must be inserted in the flight plan and nav aids with related course must be tuned manually through the RADNIF page. Navigation accuracy must be cross-checked using raw data information versus the FMS position unless GPS primary is displayed. If navigation accuracy is cross-checked low, the approach must be flown using selected modes, heading vertical speed or track flight path angle. Pushing the approach push button on the FCU will arm the lateral mode. Approach Navigation and Final are displayed in blue on the FMA. If Navigation Mode was already engaged, Approach Navigation engages immediately. If the interception is completed using Heading or Track Modes, the track line must intercept the active leg. Approach Navigation will engage when the intercept conditions are met. Note. Do not forget to clear all remaining waypoints which do not belong to the approach. Final approach engages when the aircraft intercepts the descent profile. The final guides the aircraft on the profile down to MDA or MDH. A VDEV symbol shows the deviation from the pre-planned descent path. The final approach disengages if heading vertical speed or track flight path angle modes are engaged or if the pilot pushes the lock push button. The final approach mode disengages and the autopilot disconnects when reaching MDH, MDA, minus 50 feet or 400 feet above ground level if MDH, MDA was not entered. Raw data information using VOR, ADF needles must be displayed to cross-check lateral deviation. Revert to heading track in case of excessive deviation. If during approach GPS primary is lost, a triple click oral warning is triggered and so you must cross-check your navigation accuracy.